Dr. Moshe Efrak. Today I'll discuss the use of Polypvac as well as Propel for in-office treatment of nasal polyps and sinusitis. Many patients have chronic nasal congestion and sometimes this is due to extensive nasal polyps. And these polyps were typically treated in the operating room. However, now we have a new method of treating these polyps in the office. Here we can see the polyp vac device. It is self-contained. It does not require any electricity and just gets plugged into your office suction that's part of your SMR cabinet or wall suction. In this patient, we will also be using Propel, which is a self-dissolving implant that locally releases a medication called Mometazone, which will reduce the size of nasal polyps. Here we see the implant itself. By releasing local steroid, we decrease the amount of oral steroids that are necessary. In this patient, she's 52 years old. She's had a history of prior sinus surgery with recurrent obstructive nasal polyps. She has congestion and difficulty with smell. She would traditionally have been operated on in the operating room. However, with these new techniques, we can do this in the office. Here is the polyp vac that's used in the office. You can see that it suctions the nasal polyps as well as shaves them. And so we're reducing the size of the polyps and we're allowing access to the sinus cavities. This is very similar to what we typically do in the operating room. However, under local anesthesia, the patient is awake. This can be performed in the office at this time. And you'll see that this is a wall of polyps. Once we, re we reduce many of the polyps that are in the front of the nose, we start approaching the maxillary sinus. The maxillary sinus is completely obstructed by these polyps. We are on the right side of the nasal cavity. Again, this is performed under local anesthesia. And really very similar to what we would perform in the operating room. Here we see the opening to the, the maxillary sinus, and we see this maxillary sinus is filled with tenacious um, mucus, and it takes a lot of work to remove this from the sinus. This will offer her immediate relief. We're using large bore suctions to try to remove a lot of this mucus you can see polypoid tissue within the sinus cavity itself. This is due to the sinus being obstructed and the chronic inflammation within the sinus. All coming out of that sinus. Now the Propel is what we use upon completion of shaving. And this spring-loaded implant is easily placed. Here's the insertion device. We've created a pocket in the ethmoid cavity, and we've removed many of the polyps. However, the remaining of the polyps will be melted away using this implant that also stents the turbinate medially. And so, see how it fits nicely in there. This is the contralateral side. Again, the implant is easily placed after shaving the polyps in the office. The patient will then irrigate her nose twice daily and have routine follow-up in the office.